Okay, so for those in the room, if you are joining from Zoom, please ensure that you do mute your audio um, so that we don't get feedback loops. Um, but as I say, welcome, welcome. We are coming through okay. And as I say, the, the slide audio glitch there was I hadn't turned the microphone on. Uh, so welcome everybody um, to this, uh, the say our first symposium in the vocab space here. We're going to be doing a bit of introductions as we go through this morning. Uh, but first and foremost, I wanted to have Paul House from the First Nations portfolio here um, to join us to, to give us a welcome to country. So thank you so much, Paul, for joining us. Is actually working. Yep. <laughs> so we can, yes. <laughs> so you can, you can work off the bottom. So Mandangul, uh, Warigul, Steve, and thank you, Steve. And Jumburupur Marambang, Yarya Marang, Mayin Maranga, good morning, everyone. Uh, you and do, uh, Paul Girawa House. My name is Paul uh, Girawa House. Nadu, Maradu, Marai, Biringo, Murundurai, Yambri, Gujigang, Nurubango. I was born here on Yambri country at the Old Canberra Hospital. Uh, anyone born in the Old Canberra Hospital? I am still an endangered species, that's good to say. Injamadabala, uh, Injamadabala, uh, Dr. Matilda Williams House, my respects to my mother, Dr. Matilda Williams House, uh, because of her I can. Uh, my mother was the first Indigenous Australian to be awarded an honorary doctorate from the ANU only recently as 2017. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit more mum, about mum and her achievements in my welcome to country. So Yilangalangbu, Gibabungu, Wogabu, Migabu, Didanilvang, Mayin, the ladies and gentlemen, young men, young women, Yadi, Njamali, Nyambri, Guma, Wogalu, Wallabalo, Nunawa, Nagarigo, Radri, Mujigang, Yanangbu, Jayandu. My respects to Nyambri, Guma, Wogalu, Wallabalo, Nunawa, Nagarigo, Radri, eldest past and present. Nyadi, Njamarabu, Mujigangu. Nurumbanjigu, Ninya Yiridu, my respects to all people from all parts of the country. Nyambri, Wogalu, Wallabalo, Nunua, Mayinga, and Banya, Ninyaga, Nurumbangodara. Nyambri, Nunua, people welcome you all to the country. Nadu, Wurugibigi, Balabambo, Gubu, Balagi, Bangu, Bugu, and Guliala, Dumbali, now Murraway, Marambu. We listen to our elders, our ancestors, our old people. They show us the strength to correct the right path. On country, Dulagang Moro, good path. Going Guliala, Bilangali now, Walamali now, Yamamala now. They nurture us, they assist us, they protect us. Mambawara, Naminyagu, Wurugabinya, Wurutaraigo, Winningala, Gubaligo. Looking to see, listening to hear, and learning to understand. Yinjamara, Yinjamalgujo, Yinjamarapu. It's a philosophy, it's a powerful word on country, it's a philosophy, it's an ideology. It means many good things, all the good nutrients. To go slow, be patient, be polite, be gentle, take responsibility. Yinjamara Bala Magamnawa Magamnawa Wagadain Nanu Dangwa Bumira Daganda respect is in the soles of the feet of the dancers hitting the earth. Ninja Marabala, Gujiganga Gumarawala, Nunga Yalarad Bulani Mayin. Respect is in the people and the government embracing voice treaty and truth telling. Ninja Marabala, Magagiri Biringa Bogongu Turinda. Respect to be found in the journey of the Bogong moss in the mountains. They also taste very good, but they're endangered. Like many of uh, our plants and animals in this country, uh, endangered and on the brink of extinction. Um, our welcome to country is always made in the spirit of peace and a desire for harmony for all people of modern Australia and surrounds. And our main aim as local custodians is to establish an atmosphere of mutual respect through the acknowledgement of our ancestors and the recognition of our rights to declare our special place in the pre and post history of the region. The name Canberra is derived from the name of our people and country right here, the Nyambri. Uh, the name Canberra was gazetted on the 22nd of January, 1834 uh, under the New South Wales colonial government. The name Canberra is derived from the word Nyambri. Nyambri means to sleep, to camp, to lie down. Uh, when our ancestors first met Europeans in the 1820s here on country, from Pialigo all the way here to Nyambri or Acton Peninsula, they asked our old people 
what do you call this place? And the old people didn't respond by saying the barbecue area. The different renditions of the word Nyambri, Cambri, and hence anglicized Canberra came back. Um, so we've cared for Mother Earth since the dawn of time and evidence of our sovereignty, our statehood, our ownership can be seen everywhere throughout the land. Our signature is in the land, not just our DNA and taking care of country is important to us all. A respectful way of life cares for country. Respect is taking responsibility for the now, the past, the present, and the future. Uh, the law of the land uh, talks about yinjamara mayangalangbu, mayang yandu mayangalangdu, yinjamangiju ninyagia giving respect and honor to all people and all parts, then people will respect you. Yinjamara, we wanna see our children grow up in a society that acknowledges, respects and honors First Nation people in this country. Um, hold fast to each other, empower the people. Be brave, make change. Get up, stand up, and show up. So, in conclusion, it's wonderful, it's fabulous to be here and to share some of my vocabulary, uh, our language. Would I near young, would I may, no language, no people, uh, with everyone here, uh, share our connection, name Mura, Murumba Bira, our connection and sharing Nyeyang or language may end with the people. I'm going to play a welcome song on the Yadaki now. I culturally appropriated the Yadaki, Yidaki, a place called Ramagini, Nanam land. And I have four sets of tapping sticks here to share with you today to celebrate. To celebrate, we always, we have to celebrate. It's a big important part of whatever we do on country is, to, is that respect and acknowledgement and an and, and honouring of all people in all parts of the country. So here we go. We've got Bangu, Numbay, Bula, Nulabumbo, Bangu, four sets of tapping sticks to share with the Yadaki. So with that, Mandangu, Wuragawuri, Gawaiambana, Gurubari, welcome and thank you very much. Thank you. 
So thank you so much, Paul, for that wonderful welcome. As I say, given the sharing of knowledge we're hoping to do throughout these couple of days, it's very much appreciated. <laughs> Caleb, if you want to help Paul, just in. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go. So thank you so much, Paul. <laughs> uh, he's a very busy man. As I say, this is his second welcome this morning, in fact. <laughs> so, so there's plenty of knowledge sharing going on, certainly throughout this week. Um, so just one moment, folks, we'll reorganize a little bit in the room. I will go back here to there we have time. So I've got uh, the uh, the privilege of sort of kicking things off um, uh, locally in terms of our um, some of our content uh, and just give it just some doing some context setting for the day. Um, I'm just going to screen share again. Uh, move us out of. Uh, I'm just going to get back to Zoom. Share our screen again, and we will bring us back in. Okay. So I say I'll I say I'd also like to you know pay my respects to the traditional owners of the land we're on today and give my respects to the, the land of the animal people and Nambri people, elders past, present, and emerging. Um my privilege here is to sort of introduce the team and talk a little bit about why we're here. Um so I just need to switch to that slide there. And I think we're getting good audio and visual here. Ah, I do need just to switch the background. A moment. It's always fun working with some of these hybrid uh, uh, experiences. I've been doing a bit of this with uh, some of my own teaching as well um, and learning a little bit about uh, what works and what doesn't in different contexts. So uh, we'll go back here. Um, there we are. So I say, so thank you to everyone. Um, we have, this is, as I said, whether this is the first or the second workshop is a little bit of a, you know, uh, a question for some of us who've been doing this for a while. And I'll say, so I'm here to give a bit of the context as to uh, what we're trying to do over the next few days. Um, this this conference is, uh, a symposium is being organised uh, by three partners, uh, the Australian Data Archive here at the Australian National University, which is part of the uh, new Centre for Social Research and Methods. Uh, I'm director of the uh, uh, of the ADA. Um, the Australian Research Data Commons, um, represented here by Adrian Burton and a number of colleagues here as well, um, who are, um, and, and you'll be hearing from Adrian in just a moment. Uh, and then thirdly, CoData, uh, represented by the Executive Director, Simon Hodson. Uh, and I will just give a quick hat tip to uh, to Simon, uh, who will be joining us tomorrow, actually, as the, uh, the keynote speaker as well, giving us a, an international context. The local organising committee, um, as I say we've um, we have certainly the committee itself. Um, Leslie Wyborn um, from uh, say most of us have multiple hats here, so I'm just going to recognise those multiple hats. Uh, Leslie's from the ARDC and NCI and Ozscope. Um, Megan Wong from Federation University. Uh, uh, myself, I have several hats. One of which is actually as co-data treasurer as well. So I, I kind of you know, recognise the. Uh, uh, the, the crossover that's there. Uh, Kieran uh, Demordner from Cytrax will be your facilitator for the next couple of days. Uh, Simon Cox from CSIRO and CoData and Rowan Brownlee from the ARDC as well. We also have locally and um, uh, here, at, here at ANU, uh, Jiv Ainscoff, um, who is, uh, are you in the room now? Jiv, are you out? Oh, she's upstairs, certainly coordinating a lot of our, um, uh, our local uh, online arrangements uh, and, and uh, our, our local contact and Kayla De Silva. Kayla, do you want to just raise your hand as well? Um, who is our, our local point of contact here as well. And some of you will have had some uh, engagement with her already. Uh, there is also, um, I have the advantage of being able to bring, uh, say my staff are both interested in vocabularies and here to help. Um, so just for the ADA staff, can you just raise your hands as well? Um, there are several of, uh, of us dotted around the room. Uh, and so it's the, the ADA team, Heather, Janet, Tina, Weifan, Ryan, 
uh, uh, Samir is actually here as well. Um, and Samir is just getting into uh, linked open data as well. So he's a late addition, but very keen to hear more. Uh, and Ryan Perry is also online as well, who's, who's based in Melbourne. Okay, so there are plenty of people here to help. Um, they are also very much interested in what we're here to do as well. We have this is part of our, uh, our interest here um, in the conference itself. What we're going to be doing over the next couple of days um, today is about understanding the present. Where are where do we find ourselves actually? In a, you know, certainly in Australia and internationally, um, uh, in terms of where where our vocabulary is at at this point in time, uh, we'll be hearing uh, we'll be running from ten to four Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time uh, each day. Uh, today's keynote will be Adrian Burton, who I'll introduce in a moment. Um, and then we have two sessions today. One is on international vocabularies and services. So we have an, a mix of online and, and in-person speakers. Um, so our first session will be from our international colleagues. Uh, and then a second session this afternoon on vocabularies in Australia um, and understanding well, what's, the, what's the current landscape for you know, the Australian vocabulary services uh, and, and vocabularies themselves. Uh, and then on each day, we're actually going to be running a group discussion at the same time as well. So we are looking to be I say as best we can uh, in this context, interactive where as, as much as we possibly can. So we are going to get you to be doing some things as we go through as well. And today's discussion is going to be about mapping the landscape. Day two then will be about imagining the future. So where are we and where do we want to be is the theme. You know, that certainly we're looking you know, to for uh, these days. So imagining the future, our keynote for tomorrow is Simon Hodson, co-data, who a number of us are, uh, are collaborating with as well. And really we're looking here at sort of, uh, two sessions um, on strategies, systems and tools. So what are people doing that might allow us to move towards a desired future state as well? Um, solutions for the discovery and reuse of trusted vocabularies and within and across domains. Because one of the particular challenges we're keen to solve and part of the, the Codata work program in particular is about how do we achieve interoperability to solve the grand challenges that exist across um, uh, the, 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 uh, on and above the earth, you know, in the places that we're, we're, we're working uh, and below the earth as well, in some cases for the oceans uh, and terrestrial ecosystems colleagues. Dougie's just given a reminder. This is some, we'll, we'll talk about a little bit of logistics in just a moment. Uh, say phones, phones, iPads, et cetera. <laughs> we will certainly pick up as we go through. Tomorrow's group discussion will be about making vocabularies more usable uh, themselves and where do we want to go next? I'm going to say a little bit about where we're going to go next in just a moment as well. So... Following on from the two-day symposium we're having, we actually have a, a follow-on workshop as well. Now, let's say this is partly a function of, um, let's say, space considerations, but partly it's also a question of getting in and getting some things done with a, a small manageable group. So I say this was we're running an invited workshop for the second half of the week. We have about thirty people uh, uh, attending, number of whom were involved uh, in this symposium as well. The aim of the, the the invited workshop will be to really okay, take care of what we've learned from the, the symposium and go, how would we do this in practice? How do we get from here to there fundamentally? And what are the services? What are the vocabularies? What are the facilities across those who might be operating um, those services uh, and, and vocabularies you know, in a detailed, you know, hands-on sort of a way? So the symposium is very much an open you know, a public discussion. Then we're going, how are we going to turn that into practice is really the intent. So by the end of this week, we're really looking towards getting a, a roadmap for where we think vocabulary in Australia and our contribution into the international community will get to in the future. So we have about 240 registrations. There are some last minute additions. There's always some last minute additions and last minute subtractions as well. Uh, and say so there is a smiley face on there, of course, when you put this up on screen, you get these you know, interesting uh, uh, representations. There are 59 pe people uh, uh, in person, and about 180 online, so about three to one. And I mention that partly because it's saying we have to say we, I guess we're a little surprised and very pleased about the, the numbers that we're expecting to see here. But we're also looking at that introduces some logistical challenges that come along with it. For those of us who worked in in, in hybrid uh, presentation mode, um, things like audio, visual, and the like will, will will be important here. So what I'm, I'm going to briefly mention here, I say we will have certainly online and face to face presentations throughout the next couple of days. We'll also be having online and face to face Q and A and using audio uh, at, at either end. 
We have audio in the room here where we'll be able to hear people online in the Q&A sessions and vice versa. But what that does require is, say, some of the, 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 the microphone, you know, particularly in the room, we're going to be having to hand it around. So for those in the room itself, I'm going to be asking, please wait for the microphone itself so you do get, you know, uh, you can hear um, and you can, say, interact with those online. Uh, and just making sure is that if you are following on Zoom that you're that, that you're muted um, any, anywhere out other than from the mic itself here in the room, okay? So, so that's just so we can manage the dynamics of, and the logistics of the of the experience as we go through the next couple of days.